Hi everyone, happy Thursday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 14 a box multi-year basketball mixer. A lot of great stuff in this mixer. Thanks everybody for getting in. We sold out all those cello packs, all the mini breaks are done. Here we're giving this away at the end, which should be pretty nice. He's been playing some great basketball. PSA 10 as well. So we'll randomize that to one person in the break at the very, very, very end. New dice roll. Um, if there's any points, we'll give that to spot two on that randomizer. There's all the boxes involved in this, some pretty good stuff. And a big thank you to all of these folks right here. If you bought a spot straight up, I appreciate it. If you bought, if you won spots, congratulations. Thanks for giving that a shot. There are all the teams right there. All right, let's roll it. Let's randomize it three times. One, two, and three. Your names first, then the teams. Jason down to Kim Soo Min. All right, three times for the teams. Good luck, teams. One, two, and three. Uh, we've got Golden State down to Cleveland. Cleveland Cavaliers. I actually want that font to be a little, tiny bit bigger. There we go. All right, Jason with the Warriors. Russell with the Spurs. Kurt with the Rockets. Nick with the Suns, Tice with the Kings, Daniel with the Pelicans, Matthew with the Trailblazers, Kim Jin Hee with the Grizz, Kim Soo Min with the Nuggets, Mike, you have the Wizards, Jin Hee with the Hornets, Kevin with the Sixers, Jeremy with the Celtics, uh, Zach Wynn with the T-Wolves, Matthew Shear with the Raptors, Chris with the Pistons, Aaron with the Bulls, Pablo, you got my Lakers, James with the Nets, Courtney with the Mavs, Chris with the Heat, Courtney with the Pacers, Jason with the Magic, Colin with the Clippers, Mike with the Knicks, Matthew with the Bucks, Chris, uh, Matthew with the Hawks, Chris has the Bucks, Dawai with the Jazz, Greg with the Thunder, and Kim Soo Min with the Cleveland Cavaliers. There you go, Soo Min. Let's put this all on one page. Let's alphabetize by column B by team. Let's box this up, make this look really nice for the shipping team. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break itself. Stick around. King's up for trade, so we don't want the Kings. All right. Be right back. All right. Welcome back, everybody. There was a trade, as you can see on your screen right there. So Tice is out of the King's spot and is with the Clippers. Put T next to there for trade, in case you're following along. See who draws first blood in the trade. And Colin gets his Kings. He's a Kings fan, so there you go. We'll put T right there. And so now we can go ahead and print and rip. Good luck, everybody. And like I said, we are booked up for a couple hours or so, so you can go hang out with uh, with our personal breaks channel at Jaspie's Breaks on Instagram. Follow us there and follow us on Twitter at Jaspie's Breaks. Both spots. And remember, at the end, if you end up having a bad break or you're not happy with the team that you have, don't worry. Remember, you got a chance at that Michael Porter Jr. Gem Mint 10 from Prison Basketball, and he has been crushing. He's been crushing it. All right, so let's slide these over here. Actually, you know what? Let's get this college one out of the way here. Let's start off with a bang. 2019-2020 Contenders Draft Picks Basketball. I'm actually going to pull up a checklist really quick because there might be some players that I'm just not familiar with. I mean, hopefully it's just these three guys would be half the autographs would be nice. I don't think it works that way, but one, one can hope. Where is Contender? It's on my list here. Are you in alphabetical order? There it is. Stand by, folks. Hang, hang tight. Let's get this checklist up. So this is, uh, I'll drop it in the chat too. We use groupbreakchecklist.com. We're not affiliated with them, but it's they, they do a good job. So shout out to them. Thanks for doing God's work, making up, making those checklists. All right, where's that printout? There it is. All right, thanks everybody. Thursday, the thir thanks for spending a bit of your Thursday with us. It is much appreciated. And 
Let's go. We got a prism and some mosaic, little mosaic box. But we might close out with these three boxes right here. Maybe look for a Giannis in here, some 16, 17 right here, some 17, 18 prism right there. Maybe that there's a blaster box back there. Maybe we'll close with that. Look for some Zion's or John Morant's at the end. All right. Good luck, everybody. And we got Jalen McDaniels. Is your autograph? Forget where Jalen McDaniel. Is. His name sounds familiar. I don't know where Jalen McDaniel's ended up going. He went to the Hornets. Charlotte with that one. That's going to go to uh, Jin Hee. So Charlotte with that one. And we'll do a recap at the end, too, so fear not. If you're like, oh, man, I don't want to watch this hour-long video. You don't have to. There'll be a recap at the very end. We got Amir Coffee, a golden gopher. Amir Coffee is a clipper, so Tice drawing first blood in that trade. I don't, don't recall if he's been getting any action, but an autograph nonetheless. And we got a DeMar DeRozan season ticket card. Eight out of 23, cracked ice. That'll be for Russell and the Spurs. And we got uh, Daquan Jeffries. A golden hurricane. Daquan Jeffries is a Orlando, is an Orlando Magic? A Orlando Magic? He's with the Magic. And that'll be for Jason. Jason F. with Orlando. Hope. Save, save a Giannis, too. And we got Marvin Bagley for the Kings. 83 out of 99. This guy just would stay healthy. Pretty great, Colin with that one. We got Kai Bowman. Spurs maybe? No, Warriors. So that'll be for Golden State, Jason. We got Spurs, Utah right now. Spurs, Jazz at the moment. Spur, uh, Jazz up 61-50. Spurs are a half game out of a uh, half game out of a the possible play-in spot. And I don't, I don't think it's going to happen. I think the Suns won today. The Grizzlies won today. That might have effectively canceled their chances. I don't. I'm not really sure how that math works. We got Goga Batadze, international ticket autograph for the Pacers, Courtney. Goga's been quietly, quietly raising his stock. It'll go by whatever the uh, whatever it is on the team card, 
on the card itself, whatever team's on the card. <laughs> Imagine if we had to do updates on all the teams and we we're doing like 16, 17 product, like we, the shipping team would hate us. Jordan Poole for the Warriors. Right, let's move into some 2017-18. In fact, we're going to do this mega box right here. 17-18 mega. Good luck. Next box. Got Bam out of bio. That's pretty nice. And John Collins is strong too. They, they may creep up into. Well, Bam out of bio is really solid for John Collins. May creep up into that kind of upper tier rookie. Bam out of bio is nice for the Heat. It's Alonzo Hollow. Alonzo's still carrying some good value. It's Lakers edition for Pablo. And a nice Donovan Mitchell rated rookie. Tricolor here. Uh, Dewey Lu with the Utah Jazz. Nice. Jason Tatum rated rookie. That's nice too. Celtics, that'll be for Jeremy Port, won that spot in one of our randoms. All right, let's stay in that 17-18 mode and go 17-18 Donruss basketball. Kevin Durant on front. Keep your head in that 2017-18 mode. So Alonzo, Tatum, Adebayo, Mitchell, so on and so forth. Kelton Johnson, 5 for 6 from the field. 14 points already, ladies and gentlemen. Dust off your Keldon Johnson rookie cards. We're at a point, folks, where, where I mean, especially for basketball, any of the rookies, even if you, even if they haven't played a lick, just top loaded, protect it, make sure dust doesn't get in there. Just throw it into the back of your a drawer, put it in a shoebox, something like that. You never know. Like, who was thinking Kelton Johnson Prism Silvers were going to go for, you know, $50 to $100 this week? 
some of you who may ended who may have ended up with the Spurs may have some Keldon Johnson sitting in your collection from from our breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, Jarrell Taylor knew, but because family. Ninety-nine percent of the people I don't think had Keldon Johnson on their list. All right, let's slide this over here. Let's get this stack going right here. Good luck, everyone. I mean, even this guy could have a revival. You never know. So LeBron James Cavs edition. Even these non-rookie year LeBron James cards have carried some extra weight, which has been awesome. Kings, Colin Sullivan will get the rookies, De'Aaron Fox, Lonzo, Lakers, Pablo. Nice Jason Tatum right here, rated rookie. It's another one for Jeremy Port and the Seas. those Giannis's too. Yeah, the only vet commons that end up shipping, Giannis, second year Luka Doncic's, uh, LeBron James. There's Giannis Antetokounmpo. That'll be for Chris and the Bucks. Steven Adams. Thought it was flipped around. Thought it was going to be an autograph. It's not, but it's out of 199, Greg. There you go. Steven Adams. The Thunder. In those seeding games, they've been playing some good basketball. They, they could be a threat, you know, in the, uh, in the playoffs, which are going to be starting soon. I'm excited. We've got, that's an autograph. We've got Zridunas Ilgauskas. Significant signatures for the Cavs. Cleveland. Zoom in with that. There you go. Jimmy Butler singing Hall and Oates. <laughs> All right, this is Lori Markin for the Bulls, Aaron. And obviously all the rated rookie cards will ship. There's J.R. Smith, press proof to 199 for the Cavs. I'm looking for zoom in. I can't wait for as a Lakers fan. He's on the Lakers now. I can't wait for playoff J.R. Smith. What, what wackiness will he do in the playoffs? Will he, you know, will he go off and go go six for six from three, or will he forget how much time's on the clock? You don't know. You don't know with J.R. Smith. Is he going to hit a clutch bucket? Or is he going to be unclutch? I don't know.
Can't wait. Another Donovan Mitchell for Dwyer. And Rudy Gobert. Jersey Kings relic for the Jazz. Another one for Dubai. And Chris Gerard with the the Heat and the Bam out of Bios. Wes Matthews, press proof. To two ninety nine. More gray border on this one. Mavs. That'll be for Courtney. Markel Fultz. All right, Joe. Why are you sleeping this guy? Kevin Mendoza's thinking. I don't know. Former number one overall pick. Does he have? Does he bloom late like like Victor Oladipo or something like that? Maybe. Possibly. Might as well hold on to that. See what happens. Maybe the change of scenery in Orlando will help him. You know, long off season to 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 kind of get his uh, get back on track. All right, we're still in seventeen eighteen. I think this might be our last seventeen eighteen box. I think we got one more back here at seventeen eighteen. Let's just do this one for now. All right, so Donner's optic of basketball. luck everybody in NBA action the uh, Celtics fell to the Wizards Wizards won 96 90 how did our uh, how did our boy Rui Hachimura do did he play Let's see uh, a little quick rookie report here Hachimura DNP right quad what about oh Thomas Bryant when 20 26 points nine rebounds a couple assists and four steals yeah, you're right, Jarrell. With a plus minus of 11. Playing a little defense, too. That's, in, that's across 30 minutes. 10 for 15 from the floor. 2 for 4 from 3. Hmm. Almost had a double-double. Interesting. All right. Do, do, do we... Do we? What about anyone on the Celtics? No, nothing too exciting for the rookies on the Celtics. Ogilvy had 13 points. I think he might be 17-18. Uh, what else? Oh, I got my my Lakers got dusted by the Kings. I don't think either team really had anything going on there, and nothing really to play for. Pelicans easily, Dan. Um, in the Lakers game, dust off your Dion Waiters cards. Nineteen points for the Lakers today. LeBron only played 15 minutes. LeBron had 17 points in 15 minutes. Who said he was old? How did our boy Town Horn Tucker do? Town Horn Tucker played 34 minutes, 14 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, 3 steals. Not bad. Quinn Cook, 12 points. J.R. Smith, 11 points. Ooh. Did Costas onto DeCampo? Giannis's brother got 11 minutes in the game today. Wow, seven points for Costas, two rebounds, one assist, a plus minus of plus 14. Playing a little D as well. Three for three, a perfect three for three from the field. One for two from the free throw line. There you go. There you go. Giannis to the Lakers confirmed. There's Alec Peters' signature series for the Suns, Nick Stober. I, I'd be shocked if, if THT played over JR or Dion Waiters. I think THT has earned some playoff minutes for sure, but 
Over? Is that silver staff? Yeah, it is. Overseason veterans? I don't know. I don't think so. But I think the Lakers do like that they have that option on the bench in case of, you know, case of injury, basically. Warriors, Jason. Tall Kings, Pete Maravich. Kuzma, I'll save one of those. Nice Jason Tatum right there. Silver Dame? Battleship. That's an insert for Giannis. Silver Dame, Trailblaze. I don't know if these, or it's hollow, I guess, in Optic. I don't know if these hollows are going for anything, but prices of everything seem to be going up, so might as well throw that in there. Dame's been playing some good ball. If he ends up being the eighth seed, I'm terrified that Damian Lillard's just going to score 50 a night on my Lakers. I'm just abhor playing perimeter defense, so. Jeremy Port with the Celtics. There's a De'Aaron Fox here. Someone was saying, who is it, David maybe? Yeah, David was saying John Wall. When If he's back and healthy, that wizard team could be really interesting. Right? Bradley Beal? Hachimura? John Wall? Thomas Bryant? They've got some pieces. In a weaker East? Kings, that's for Colin. Colin's a Kings fan. He's happy about the Kings win today. Terrence Ferguson, 85. OKC playing some good hoop. Wow, Dan thinks that, uh, Dan was just saying that J.R. Smith, he, he could see him one-upping himself from the previous playoff time when he forgot what clock, it, what time it was, and shoot a bucket in the other basket. Wow. It's possible. TJ Warren's been playing some good hoops. It's not rookie TJ Warren, but I wish it was. All right, let's get into some uh, more optic. This is 2018-19 edition. Grizzle saying, what, Keldon was 16 in 19 minutes. No assists, no rebounds, though, in that time. He needs, to, he needs to get that ball back. He needs to give up the ball, maybe. Pass it, shoot it. Someone's got a score. Um, Grizzlies keeping their playoff hopes alive, I think. 119. Uh, they beat the Bucks 119 to 106. I think Giannis only played. No, I just played zero minutes because he was suspended. That's right. He headbutted someone. Um, his brother played, though. A different Antetokounmpo played. Wow. If I told you... <laughs> if I told you, hey, Antetokounmpo, if I said last week, will, uh, will Giannis' brothers get more minutes than him on Thursday the 13th? Everyone would have taken Giannis. I would have won a million dollars. People would have put, put the house on that. If I said both brothers would have more minutes than Giannis, if I said that last week, pre-suspension. So Thanis, so Costas got, got some minutes with the Lakers. Thanis Antetokounmpo, who was on the Bucks, got 18 minutes, a couple points, a rebound, a couple assists, a steal, plus 12 on the plus minus. For what it's worth. Frank Mason, the third, is on the Bucks. He had 18 points today. Jonas Valanciunas had 26 for the uh, for the Grizz. John Moran only had 12, but Dylan Brooks had 31 points today. Wow. John Moran had 13 re he John Moran had triple double though. He had that's kind of weird. 12 point triple double. 12 points, 13 rebounds, 10 assists. There you go. Good for him. 0 for th 4 from 3. That's a little rough. 
0 for 4 from 3. All right, here we go. And we're watching live, Utah Jazz up 80 to 66 on the Spurs. I don't think the Spurs have even had the lead. Maybe early in the game, Spurs had the lead, but not since. It's Harden's to 85. Zach, you watch your my videos all the way from Canada. Well, welcome. DeAndre Ayton playing some good hoop, ladies and gentlemen. Just across the the regular season in general, I think his his value creeping up a little bit. Suns could be a dangerous team next year. Nick Stober with Phoenix. Mo Bamba. For the Magic, that'll be for Jason. Trey Young, rated rookie. All oh, right, this is 1819. I was like, Trey Young? That goes to Matthew Shira. Nice, Trey Young, rated rookie. I feel like this team underachieved this year. What do you, I mean, what do you think? Am, am I wrong? Maybe. I don't know, but I, I think I think they underachieved this year. I think Trey Young did fine, but I mean they have Kevin Huter, DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, right? Cam Reddish. You know, you're telling me that 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 team only won 20 games? Are you kidding me? But apparently they have 42 million dollars in cap space. Oh yeah, definitely. Still young, absolutely. I just, I just thought they'd win more than twenty games. I think Jaron Jackson Jr. getting injured really interrupted the, the Grizzlies. No, yeah, I, st I absolutely give them a chance. I just thought, I don't know. I thought they'd win like thirty or forty games. You know, I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't think they were going to win the division or anything like that. I realized that they're still evolving, but, but I was like, yeah, DeAndre Hunter, Cam Reddish, and Trey Young, and Collins. You know, like I, I thought more than twenty games. That's for sure. SGA, people love SGA in OKC. This one goes to LA. This will be for Tice. I like the Hawks, though. I, I, I think I – think, uh, actually, maybe I, I, maybe I kind of like – actually, let's do this hanger box really quick, 18, 19 donors. Um, maybe I actually like that the Hawks – oh, the defense. That's what it is probably. Yeah, the defense isn't there yet, says Jeff. Um, maybe I like that they only won 20 games, though, because maybe they'll be undervalued by Vegas. So we take the over on wins for Atlanta – and they have $42 million in cap space. I just read this right now on the Hawks team page on ESPN.com from an article by Bobby Marks two days ago. So they could add, I don't know who the big free agents are this season, but they could add a lot of players. Anthony Davis is a free agent, I think. So can you imagine? AD on that team? AD with Trey Young? I don't even want to think that. I'm gonna put put that put that out of my head now. There's a few, few guys we like here. All right, Mo Bamba for the Magic. Jason Fractor, people like Mo Bamba. We talked about SGA. OKC looked great in the reseeding games. 
Devontae Graham, P.J. Washington, Bridges, among others. You know, one of these guys is going to end up being, could end up being a perennial all-star. Once they evolve a little bit, they've got a good young core. Now we're in Zion year, hoops basketball. All right. Uh, what was the? Wasn't there another game? Maybe that was it. Did we go through all the all of today's games? Oh no, we we had Mavs Suns. That was a game we were watching early. That was the early game. Suns up one, beat the Mavs one twenty eight to one oh two. I think Doncic only played. Yeah, Doncic only played thirteen minutes. I don't think Porzingis even played. Mar Marjanovic, eighteen points today. Luka Doncic still had eighteen points. In 13 minutes, that's just stupid. With four, or no, sorry, check that, with five rebounds. No assist, though. He had a steal. Doncic could have had like a 20-point double-double in like 15 minutes if they gave him a few extra minutes. Crazy. Um, boy, Cameron Johnson. You'll see him in this year, right? He's a rookie. Cameron Johnson, 19-20. 15 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, a block, plus 12 on the plus minus if you're into that sort of thing, in 30 minutes. Some good basketball right there. Michael Bridges, Miles Bridges, we just had Miles Bridges, he was on the horn. Michael Bridges, 14 points, 4 total rebounds, 3 assists, a block, plus 26 on the plus minus. Devin Booker doing Devin Booker things. Plus 27, 7 rebounds, 5 assists, a plus 30 on the plus minus. Either there wasn't good shooting from the Mavs or Devin Booker playing a little D. Cameron Artis Payne is on this team. He had 15 points, plus minus a plus 20. Dario Saric had 16 points as well. Man, it's a good, good game by the Suns. Matt with me, I guess. All right, let's roll. There's Hachimura. There's Cameron Johnson. We we're just talking about him. High voltage, Paul George. For OKC, Cameron Johnson will go to the Suns. Nick Stover, Hachimura for Mike G and the Wizards. And we've got Yuta Watanabe. Hot signatures for the Grizzlies. That'll be for Jin Hee with that one. Zion. Jalen Brunson. Per oh, I thought these were numbers. They're not at all. Uh, Zion Williamson. That'll be for the Pelicans. That's going to go to Dan Dub. We got KG, Legends of the Ball. Hands off the glass, KG. Hands off the glass. We got next, Brandon Clark. He's all right. Dust off your town Horton Tuckers, ladies and gentlemen. I'm half kidding, but 
with the way uh, with the way the hobby is going these days. But the way the hobby is going these days, if he gets playoff minutes and he, and he scores a, a significant bucket or two, watch those values continue to, to rise. Town Horton Tucker has gone from a dollar card to like a $5 card. Could be a $10 card by the end of the first round. Brooke Lopez to 199 LeBron. Former teammates. There's Keldon Johnson. His stock's rising. There's Sekou Demboya autograph. He's like the only main guy, only rookie or only young player on that team worth a lick. Chris Gerard. Gerard? Steven Gerard? His brother Chris. Detroit Pistons. There you go, man. There's Wiggins to 25. Good question, Jeff. Who do you like more? Are you talking about Jackson Hayes? Or Brandon Clark, who has the better career? Hmm. Hmm. What position does Brandon Clark play? Forward? So same position, right? Jackson Hayes also also a forward slash possible center. That's a good question. I haven't thought about that. I hmm. I feel like. Jackson Hayes seems more exciting to like watch, but I don't know what kind of what kind of minutes he'll get with like, you know with Zion on the court and some other other players on the court. I feel like Brandon Clark might have some more chances, you know, especially with this guy too. Right? If John Morant plays a little more in the, I don't know. I mean, maybe. Team construction, like in a vacuum, I would say Jackson Hayes. But I feel like on their current teams, I would I would lean Brandon Clark. Is that crazy? I don't know. What do you think, Jeff? You think Hayes is better, but Clark has the higher ceiling. Hayes is better now. Clark has a higher ceiling in the future. Well, I don't know. All of, I I do like that we're having this conversation because the, this the 2019 20 draft class has been a lot better than we think. You can go up and down the list, and you can at least find find some potential. You know, in in a lot of players. Like last couple of years, we kind of know. Like, listen, there's some guys that you just know aren't gonna aren't gonna be, you know, in the league for the next few years. You know what I mean? But this year, like, you have to hit the pause button on a lot of players because, you know, it's like Goga, you know, like, they're doing interesting enough things where, even Terrence Mann, they're doing interesting enough things where you're like, okay, I might hold for just a little longer. There's a good question. David Downer saying, who wins a chip first, Zion or Ja? Let, and let's just say they're, they're, they're ha they have to be on their current teams, Pelicans and, and Grizzlies, respectively. Now, Jarrell is all over Jackson Hayes. Hella energy, defends first, reminds, reminds him of a, of, a, of a Tyson Chandler type. Tyson Chandler is pretty good. All right, where, where should we go now? Should we, let's get into, let's get that totally certified going. Back to seventeen, eighteen. I'm getting getting close to the end here.
David, what do you think? You would take the Grizz roster next five years over the Pelicans roster. Would you? I don't know. I mean, I'm biased because there's like three former Lakers on, on the Pelicans. Like, I, I, I think Lonzo may not ever be a scorer, but I could see Lonzo getting like 15 assists a night with that team. You know, I could see I could see Brandon Ingram. Come on, Brandon Ingram is like is pretty incredible. Josh Hart can shoot a little bit from the outside. They still got a Redick out there. They still got Holiday out there. I mean, I like that Pelicans team a lot. Now, if they could, I don't know what do they have to do. If they can maybe, I don't know what their cap space situation is, but if they can get a couple free agents here and there. Hey, come run with Zion. Be part of the Zion experience. Some players might be interested in that. There's TJ Leaf. 137 out of 249 for the Pacers. I would I, I would lean I would lean Pelicans. To potentially win a chip first before the Grizz. If those are the only two teams we're talking about here. Adam saying, if Jaw and Zion ever team up, that team would have no money. They'd have to pay those two guys, and that's it. There'll be no one else on that team. Tilakina to two ninety nine. Better future, Ben Simmons or Siakam? Siakam. Ben Simmons, I don't think has reached his final form yet, but but Siakam right now clearly is is playing some really great basketball. Nice rookie roll call, Bam out of bio for the Miami Heat. Chris G. Yeah, Ricky saying Siakam for sure. Jarrell going back to the Pelicans. Yeah, all the Pelicans need. Couple shooters, and it'll be over. I agree, and just that Zion energy. All right, let's do. Uh, let's stay. Let's stay in seventeen eighteen. Let's do that blaster box. I think Ben Simmons has a has a high ceiling, though. I, I know the the injuries are a little weird. The 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 lack of outside shooting. He may need to develop that, but I'm not selling on Ben Simmons. Not not yet. But right now, Siakam's pretty pretty good. All right, so 1718 blaster box. I think this is the last 1718 box for the people who have 1718 teams. Oh, actually, no. We'll do Court Kings after that. So two more chances for 1718. We got Edmund Sumner. It's a 25. No idea. No, I've, I've got nothing on that guy. There's Semi Ogilvy relic for the Celtics, Jeremy. Kyle Weaver, Panini Elements, a must-buy, you all feel like? Well, if you're, if you're asking me, anything on jazbeescasebreaks.com is a must-buy. That's why we put it up on the site. We certainly wouldn't put non-must-buys on the site. Everything on the website, a must-buy. There's Siakam right there. I'm biased, though. Yeah, Pistons. Chris, let's have Silver Lou Kennard. Let's grade that, get a PSA 10. Watch him go off next year. 
Let's go. Let's go. All right, 17, 18, Cord. You never know. You're going to hear me say that a lot. You never know, especially with hoops, the way basketball is going. Oh, forgot about you. Sometimes these box hoppers can be autographed. Harris was on the Pistons? Why am, I, why am I blanking on the Tobias Harris and Harris Pistons edition? Kyle Kuzma, level three. And Giannis Antetokounmpo, five out of 25. Nice. Bucks. That will be for Chris G. Kuz. Go to Pablo and the Lakers. I think level four is the shortest printed one in these Court Kings. I like the street art background right there. Remember, remember how it's called street art now? It used to just be graffiti. No, not anymore. It's art. I like that. See you tomorrow. All right, see ya. OG Anuobi. Raptors. Matthew Shira with the fresh paint autograph. And Jimmy Butler. Performance art. And that's Bulls edition going to James. 183 out of 299. Box topper. Wanna make this easy for me, box topper? Yes, nice. It's James Harden. Rockets. There you go. That's some art right there. Nice. There he is. Houston. That goes to Kurt. All right. Let's go. Eighteen nineteen. Donner's basketball blaster edition. Oh, OG's auto is awful? Yeah, it's not so good. Maybe something uh, NOB needs to work on in the offseason. <laughs> OG NOB's like, OG, what are you, you going to do in the offseason to, to improve your game? Let's take it to the next level. Well, I'm going to work on my footwork, lift some more weights, work on that auto, that autograph. Those are the key things I want to work on the offseason. If I see that, if I ever see that quote, I would, that would make me so happy. And I'd like to announce now that I'm going to Jaspie's autograph camp in Hermosa Beach, California. Yes, we'll help you, OG on OB. Guest speaker, Ozzy Smith will be there. Randy Johnson will be there. Mariano Rivera will be a guest speaker at Jaspie's autograph camp. Yeah, Cam, Cam Reddish too, Amber? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll invite Cam to Jaspie's autograph camp. Bagley, and we've got a Jalen Brown. I think Adam was saying earlier that Jalen Brown doesn't get the respect he deserves. There he is. It's Jalen Brown for the Celtics, Jeremy.
There's Michael Bridges. He's been playing well. Rookie jerseys. And there's Michael Porter Jr. Rated rookie. Denver Nuggets. Kim Soom in with this one. Rated rookie. Nice. Does 2020 Panini Elements legit come out tomorrow? Well, it says Friday in the item description, Kyle Weaver. We certainly wouldn't lie to you. Why would we put that if it was not legit coming out tomorrow? That would be crazy. There's Trey Young right there. And TJ Warren. He's been playing some good basketball. Lonnie Walker, Troy Brown Jr., and... Mike Conley. Zach, that's weird. I feel like someone else mentioned that today, earlier. I'm not sure. Shoot us, a, shoot us an email. On that, Click that support button and shoot us an email. We'll look into it. TJ Warren. Not, not a rookie, but just a different parallel right here. And Trey Young, a Matthew Chira. I don't know what other advice I have for you, unfortunately, Zach. Sorry. Try, maybe restry. I guess if you can't find your email, you can't reset your password. It's kind of odd. All right. Um, let's do this. 16-17 Mosaic Basketball. Oh. Spurs, I think, are keeping it close. Utah's up 105-100 now. Although I think Spurs have officially been eliminated with with the wins today by the Grizzlies and the Suns. Yeah, I think they're eliminated officially. So right now, I think the Trailblazers need to win. What's here? So the Grizzlies with the win have clinched a playoff berth, play in berth. They're currently in the eighth spot, but the Trailblazers haven't played yet. So if the Trailblazers win, then they jump into the eighth spot, I think, and then Grizzlies will still be in the ninth spot. So Grizzlies are in. If Blazers win, they're in. If Blazers lose, I think Phoenix is in. Yeah, I think Phoenix is in. That's wild. All right, so that Portland game gets to be really important. This game has uh, has no importance. There's Pascal Siakam, rookie. Remember, the 16-17, rookie Pascal Siakam. Speaking of Siakam, there's Jamal Murray. I like his game, too. So, rookie Jamal Murray for Kim Soo-min in the Nuggets. And Matthew Shira, rookie Pascal Siakam. Out of what they called it Prism Mosaic back then. Now they just call it Mosaic. Another Jamal. You just saw one right there. Pascal Siakam rookie. And there's been many other big hits like that in this mixer. We'll do a recap in a little bit. Another Jamal Murray for Sumin. in. Those aren't numbered. All I think all of these will ship anyway. And but do we like Buddy Healed? Buddy Healed Pelicans edition. Going to Daniel W. Does he still have some upside with the Kings? All right. Uh, let's do this. If you're wondering why I'm saving Crusade for last. This is 2013, 14 Crusade. Yeah, Chet. Blink and you'll miss it. Yeah, Buddy Heald was on the Pelicans for like half a second. Half a season, I think. And they traded him that for his first season, went to the Kings. For Cousins, I think. For Boogie Cousins, among others. There's Dame. We'll see him tonight. To 99. 
There you go. Dan Tappy, he, he likes the Buddy Heald. There's Luka Doncic. Uh, second year Luka Doncic. For Courtney and the Mavs. 21 out of 49. Carson Edwards is your die cut. Relic, heirs to the throne. Jeremy Port. We got Trey Young, autograph. Three out of 25. This is second year Trey Young, but it's an on card auto. What is it? Commemorating his 16 assist performance. Atlanta Hawks, Matthew Shira. I think coming out of college, I think people are like, yeah, Trey Young, just a shooter. But no, I think everyone, he surprised the entire league, I think, with just how, how well-rounded he ended up being. All right, final box coming up. There it is. Crusade 13-14. Let's go, Giannis. Let's go, rookie Giannis. Spud Webb autograph for the Hawks, Matthew Shearer. Vince Carter, Mavs edition. Kelly Olenek and Yao Ming. Tony Parker to 249 for the Spurs. That'll be for Russell. There's uh, Anthony Bennett. There's Dirk Nowitzki. A little extra chalk on there. And you end up seeing the, these cards. We got Gordon Hayward. Two color relic, Jazz Edition. For Dewey Lou. There's Rudy Gay, 220 out of 349. Is Anthony Bennett the biggest bust in sports history? Might be. Because he didn't have injuries, right? Because I don't consider players who have unlucky injuries, I don't count those as busts. He can, that's unfair. But I think he wasn't injured. I think he just, he just washed out, right? Pete Maravich, 216 out of 249. Jamarcus Russell for my Raiders might, might be a, a bigger bust, I think. <laughs> Derek Fisher, Mario Chalmers. J.R. Smith, Knicks edition, 249. Xavier Henry, John Lucas. Yeah, well, it, my, Russell might be the worst draft pick the Raiders have ever made since James. Might be the worst ever in history. See, Johnny Football, though, Damien, I think that was many years after, because when Jamarcus Russell was signed, remember, there was no rookie uh, scale, I think, rookie scale for contracts. Jamarcus Russell held out for like a zillion dollar contract or something like that. And like, the teams were like hamstrung. You had to sign them eventually. There's that 340 Nicola Batum. And no Giannis in this. Oh well, we tried. There's Dr. J though. So not only did the Raiders sign Jamarcus Russell for $100 million plus, most, I'm sure a lot of it was guaranteed too. And he ended up being terrible. All right. 
Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. If you had a terrible break, guess what? You still have a shot at this. You're like, Joe, that was, that was not a good one for me, buddy. But guess what? Just lucky, just a little luck on the randomizer. Get that PSA 10, Michael Porter Jr. from 2018-19, Panini Prism. So don't fret just yet. It's not over, James. It's not over yet. Let's flip back to this screen right here. We got Matthew Shearer and the Hawks down to Mike G and the Wizards. Let's get all those names into a blank. No points here, too. That's good. There's all the names right there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Name on top after two. Snake Eyes. Name on top after two. Good luck. One. Easy for me. Two. All right. Big thanks, everybody, right here for getting into the action. Appreciate it. Oh, sorry, James. Um, two down to 30. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. The name on top is going to be Greg. Greg B. I don't know if I called your name too often in this break, Greg. He had a couple SGA. He had the Thunder. No, you don't even have those SGAs. That was Clippers. I don't know if you really had anything in this break, Greg. But you know what you do have? You have this. So there you go. Congrats to you. Thanks, everyone else, for getting in. Really appreciate it. Um, we always do these kind of crazy mixers, so look out for more on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll break more with you next time. Bye-bye.